Experience. As you know, there have been an amazing array of different sponsors popping through the channel for all of the beginning of 2022, putting up the $13,000 to get a sponsorship slot, short, quick, to the point sponsorship slots here on Spindat, and today is no different. Today is not brought to you by Squarespace, but it is brought to you by Genetics and Trichotillomania. Let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? Mill Pattern Baldness. Premium Early Adopters Patch. Oh, hi Eric, we really appreciate you losing your hair slowly over the last 10 years. We know there are other options when it comes to the placement of your hair on your body and we couldn't be happier to keep it from being on the top of your head. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the next 10 years, we hope, can bring better and bigger things as we continue together. Isaac, CEO of Mill Pattern Baldness. Thanks, Isaac. There you go, you can. Okay, today is going to be an in-depth review of Mill Pattern Baldness. Thanks, Genetics, for sending it. So I've been using Mail Pattern Baldness for about 10 years now. I've got, uh, as you can see, I have the premium early adopters package, which is uh, you get started when you're like 19 years old, and then it's just a slow burn from there. As far as I understand, there are many different packages in the world. Uh, there could be uh, there could be some slight differences between mine and the one you're considering, but uh, in the end, they all have the same effect. So first part of this review, we're gonna go over setup. Setting up my male pattern baldness was really easy, like foolproof ease. No manual installing or upgrading or updating in any way required. As a matter of fact, a lot of it is kind of dealt with for you from the get-go. Excitingly, you might not have even known that it arrived after ordering it. There's no, there's like no shipping or tracking. And best yet, discovery doesn't even need to be handled by you. Just bend over like I am now with someone else's perspective being up there, kind of like that. Once you find yourself in this position, giving others the vantage point required, listen for snickering. Once you hear the snickering, try and spot it. This is typically pretty easy to do. With any luck, those people will be happy to tell you that the install has happened successfully. And if not them, someone else will, I promise. This part of the male pattern baldness process really requires no effort on your part at all. It's very, very easy. Set up, the male pattern baldness really hit set up perfectly. It's like Apple quality setup. It's so efficient, so simple. You might even, like you kind of question whether or not it's right. Like, hmm. Now the package I received, the premium early adopters edition, came with some built-in denial time. Now I didn't read the instructions, but I'm pretty sure the built-in denial time with my package was to help with deciding on which route of commitment you want to go down. Four out of five stars for setup. It's pretty good. Now, after setup time is complete and denial time is used up, you've got to go to commit it. There are choices here. They're all very similar with slight slight differences. I ultimately landed on the keep it razor shaved short most of the time and use humor as a defensive mechanism in case any comments come up about it. Almost entirely because the clean shaven all the time and go to the gym and get really, really buff selection just seemed like kind of a lot of work. I kind of like the way I look now. I don't really want to change it too much. I'd like to maintain it. I don't want to change it. I will say I wish I had done a little more research on some of the on some of the other options. Dang it! This is three eighths. Because it turns out keeping a head razor shaved well, it's a bit of a Herculean task. It is incredibly time consuming, especially if you're someone like me who doesn't shower every day. After like two or three days of growth, a razor just doesn't cut. Pardon the pun. Any of you considering male pattern baldness for the perceived low maintenance need not apply. Committing to a look, there's a lot to take in. Two out of five. Maintaining and protecting. It's pretty similar, pretty similar to working on bikes, I must say. After the install and some of the updates of your male pattern baldness will have the same sort of effect on your scalp, exposing some sensitive skin as say, stripping the paint off of the steel frame. Without any protective coating on steel, it rusts because of oxidation. Without any protective coating 
over the scalp of your head. It will burn like, or it'll, you kind of feel like you get brain freeze in the winter. So you can get clear coat cream like protection for the roof of your noggin, but it's only temporary protection. It's not like clear coat for metals. My choice of foolproof hot day sun protection comes in the form of a hat. Because I ride bikes, these things for under the helmet to protect the skin from A, getting burnt, and B, having uh, the hilarious burn lines of your helmet vent holes. Um, well, these, these work a treat. They're a little hot, but mm, it's fine. Now, the winter, the cold months, if you ever experience no hair, you will learn that if you ride a bike in it, run in it, whatever, you will learn very quickly that your body does very much regulate its temperature through the top of your head because cold weather will literally give you brain freeze. And therefore, the solution, once again, is a hat. I wear this one under my helmet, but I am a big fan of two, like a big fan, a really big fan. Like a, uh, eventually, a hat can just kind of become part of your look. It really doesn't matter if you've got male pattern baldness installed or, or not. Sometimes hats just kind of look good. It's just when you got male pattern baldness installed, the hat offers a little more utility than the guy who's already got, uh, well, you know, the natural hat. When it comes to maintenance and protection, five out of five. I freaking love wearing hats. When the old noggin gets revealed, you get the fun reminders, and that is the fourth section of this review. After time, you're eventually gonna get used to the installed and updated version, current version of your male pattern baldness, and you just kinda come to terms with it. You bought it and there's no returns. You knew that, no warranty. You get to keep it. So it just kinda becomes part of you and old news. But it'll very much remain a novelty for everyone outside of your friend group, and sometimes in your friend group. Notable updates to male pattern baldness will generally come up in normal conversation. That's not so bad. Considering the style and emotional commitment that I put with my male pattern baldness, I bring it up as a joke regularly. That's not so bad. Old photos before the male pattern baldness install, that is always a crowd pleaser. And then the easy low blow addition of your male pattern baldness into an insult during argument. Sting so deep. Section four, fun reminders, three out of five. Section five of this review is on the analog app that comes standard with every male pattern baldness called the check-in. I'm currently in the check-in right now. Uh, it's very simple. You just don't touch the hair on your head with a razor for a little while. That way you can truly visualize and see the progress of the updates after the initial install of your male pattern baldness. Check it out. Look at that. That way you can see if it's progressing nicely or if it's not quite coming along quite as far as you would have liked. I guess it all depends on what your end goal is. Me, personally, I've been using male pattern baldness, the premium package, for like 10 years now, and I certainly find myself frustrated with the progress that it's at so far. I would like I would really like this part to just kind of like finish the work that it needs to do so I can start looking like Stanley Tucci. But it's really taking its time. Overall, I give Section 5 and the check-in app a five out of five. Can't blame the performance of the model of male pattern bonus that I got on the app. The app does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does it very, very well. I just wish the rest of this would go away and make the maintenance part a lot easier. Do you know what I mean? So big question is, what do I give male pattern baldness, the premium early adopters package out of 10? What is the rating? I give it, well, I give it a solid 10 out of 10 because you don't really have a choice either way. Hey, if you're interested in getting some male pattern baldness on your own, unfortunately it's invite only. Um, only a select few will be allowed to get it. Someone will let you know if you've been accepted to install male pattern baldness on yourself. Trust me. Thanks for watching. Normally the channel is about bike stuff only. Subscribe, anyway. <laughs>